Hi, I'm Candace Smith. I'm from Tours Around Michigan. Grand Rapids is such a fantastic city and we have all these places that we go to all the time, but you really don't know the stories behind them. And I'm Shelly Irwin and you're in store for another edition of Shelly's Blog. And here we are at that place in downtown Grand Rapids, Candace Smith. We're all about Rosa Park Circle. We what are. Is the history of this great place. It's so it's so great. And actually, this area where the park is has really been the center of the city since it began in the 1820s. So it's always been an important place for business, for gatherings, things like that. So now we're Rosa Park Circle, and we know if, we, if there's a festival happening in town, this is the place to come. Hey, right? now there's some misting going on. There is. So we have a misting fountain behind us. So one thing most people don't know about Rosa Park Circle, so there is, it's designed around the Grand River in the sense of uh, Maya Lin who designed it. She uh, also designed the Vietnam Memorial in Washington. Uh, she was inspired by the Grand River. So the park itself has waves in it, so the, the earthen waves here. Hey, a lot of structures in Grand Rapids have waves too. Right, the Boss Place. Van Andel Institute, our, our beloved Calder, okay. you know, the Grand Vitesse. <laughs> um, yeah, so it also has three forms of water. So we're in front of one, which is the vapor one, that's the misting fountain. And then the other one is the marble liquid fountain on the other side of the park. Mm -hmm. And then the third one, the solid form, is the ice skating rink in the winter. Wow. Yeah, let that stay in the winter time. Uh, we'll get there soon. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about why this mist and why this particular fountain. Well, it is part of the three forms of water, so um, and it's especially great in the summer because you can stand in it. I know many times you'll come down here in the summertime and kids will just be just soaking it up because it's a cool mist, it's not a hot mist. So if it is a hot day, mm -hmm. it's a great place to stand. Kids and adults. Yeah, and adults too. Let's go check too. out that other fountain. And here we are, more water on Rosa Park Circle. That's Tell me right. about this. So this oh, one, wow. this is the liquid fountain, right? So Rosa Park Circle was designed around three forms of water. We have the vapor fountain, we have the solid, which is the ice skating rink in the winter, and then we have the liquid fountain. So this one right here, and this is interactive, right? I am, we're going in. So this is something, you know, you have kids playing in it in the summer. Adults you have, too. You have and adults, you have dogs jumping in it. Um, it really is meant for the community to enjoy. And you know, it's, it's their park, so come and enjoy it in all the ways that it's meant to be. Summertime at Rosa Park Circle. That's right. And here we are in front of the circle, Candace. We are. This is so, a lot of people know this in the winter because it is an ice skating rink. It's a little too hot right now for ice. But ice is our solid form, our solid representative of Rosa Park Circle to go along with the vapor fountain and the liquid fountain. Um, one thing a lot of people don't know, so the lights underneath the surface here, underneath the amphitheater, they are a constellation pattern of what the night sky looked like in Grand Rapids on January 1st, 2000. So that's, it's really cool. And those lights obviously come out at nighttime. Mm -hmm. Yes, so when it's the ice rink, they have them on. In the summer, they have them on. You know, we're out here for festivals and things like that. Uh, so Rosa Park Circle is such an awesome place year-round. Yes, and how should we best take advantage of this in our own backyard? I think you can start by coming to some of the festivals that are here. Uh, if the crowds are a little too much for you, just come sit down, stick your hands in a fountain, let the mist roll over you. Uh, you know, and we have such great shopping and restaurants up and down Monroe Center right here. And uh, you know, there's just the river's a short walk. I mean, it really is just a place to come. The kids can burn off their energy if you want to bring the kids, or you can just sit on your own and just enjoy the atmosphere. We even hear a, we even hear a saxophone, saxophone plane sitting here, so it's really neat. <laughs> Rosa Park Circle, a great place here in Grand Rapids. Thanks, Candace. Thank you. And there you have it, another place here in downtown Grand Rapids, Rosa Park Circle. Follow us on YouTube. Look up Shelly's blog for more adventurous places.